this is what happens. If you don't, if you buy a house that you don't know what's in it. <laughs> Something like that. All right. So, good news, bad news. We'll start with the bad news. We've got our wonderful cellar here. Well, our sump pump went out and there's about five inches of water down there. So that became the number one priority. Um, and well, good news is this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will be glad. Super sharp shape. Right, and rejoice in it. And we're doing just that. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. Hey, from having a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, those feet are wet again. Okay, this is gonna be a fun one. Gonna be a real wet. What does that say? One and a half inch. But now I gotta go to two inch. So I need a one and a half inch, or a two inch to a one and a half inch reducer, I believe. I don't know what the hell that thing is down there, but. I'm just gonna build it, bring it in, connect it on new at some point in here. What the hell is this? I tell you what, the last few days have been riddled with wondering what was wrong with the people who built this. Because there's just one thing after another that I find. Um All right. I will say, I think it's important that I'm not pontificating because I've spent countless days with my feet wet for 12 hours a day. But that's one of the problems with, I'll say, at least men these days. Now, if your feet are wet, often, I'm not talking about you, is there aren't enough men who have had to get their feet wet on a 31 degree day. And I'm not saying I like it. I don't like it one bit. But sometimes it has to be done. And I tell you what, I used to work at a winery taking this with us and granted the weather wasn't that cold but we would but we would work we worked 12 hours a day minimum seven days a week yes and my feet were wet within five minutes of getting out there and going to it and there's pretty much no way around it excuse me sir oh so you did it and same thing a little to a certain degree in firefighting but not nearly as regularly all right tell me when you're good it's on this is inside our basement flooded baby flooded 100 percent flooded Merit, what are you doing you're out of position get where come on man but that's the deep part. Okay, that's the shallower part. That right not, there in that corner is a deep um, part. But pretty shallow in that corner, that pretty though. shallow. Yeah. But I'm on these am ammo cans. Is that the stuff you can't breathe? Try to blow and bubble gum there. You can breathe it, Merritt. Dad, is that the stuff that's poisonous? Let's go. Let's just. Don't breathe it. No, it's not good. So let's just. Blowing bubbles in the water. Uh, if you breathe having the best time of your life. Kill you, I guess, yeah. But, well, this is what we're doing right now. So, yeah. So, mm. yeah. Um, yeah. So. Bye. Matt, say bye. Bye.
This is our flood. Apparently, it's leaking through the bricks. Apparently, it's... Apparently, but... I don't know, but... Our only place we can be is either there, there, or where I am, which is on all these ammo cans. Or on the stairs, or out of here, because it's not fun in here. Yeah, it does not want to go up much, so... What was that? Nothing. Well, give me inspiration. That's falling apart up there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it came from up there. What? Why did it even fall? Didn't we need that? To... This is just get didn't better we... and better, don't they, boys? Didn't, so didn't we? Need a new pipe? Didn't we need it to fall? No, we needed to cut it. We needed it to stay together, really. Okay. Hey, Dad, that light turned off. What did? That's like right over there. That's all right. Okay, right. Um, I think you're gonna need to put some glue on that. Where'd the saw go? Oh. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try and glue that, but first things first here. Mm -hmm. That's oh, an yeah. old pipe. Can you, can you come over and hold it down? That would be awesome, actually, if you could make your way over. You could just put a little bit of pressure on that end of the pipe. Let's just set it behind you on the ammo cans where it's definitely safe, man. I tell you what, my feet are getting cold. I wish I got to call mom to let her see this flood. Oh, she will. We got a video. Okay. I wish we had an underwater camera. I'm actually going to flip this over because this is a fresh... That's what I wanted to get for my, um, on Christmas. For Christmas. An underwater camera? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we're fishing? Yeah, we're fishing. You're too funny, bro. You can get underwater cameras that you can put on fishing You're, rods, yeah. but still have a hook. And see you when you get a bite or not. Yeah. And you can just watch it. When you get a bite, under those forearms, you'd get a lot of action. Can I get a hum, babe? Yeah, what happened to my hum, babe? Okay. No, Dad, Dad, Dad. Can you okay. tell Mom from up on the under the shed and show her down here before all the water gets down? Can we? Can we? Do what? Call Mom. Oh, well, it's not gonna work, buddy. We're not gonna Look, be able to FaceTime her. Up there, up there is... Wow. Okay, sorry about that. I had to find my dog. Gage, I found him. Over in the barn. But um. You know, if you're gonna run livestock, you gotta know what you know what you Gage, stop. You gotta know what to do. Just know what to do. Just find out. And if you can't find out, just don't buy li livestock, I promise you. If you don't know what to do and you buy livestock, then I promise you you're gonna regret it. Because we didn't know what to do with hogs. We bought about 50 of them. We, try, we tried to sell them in about five days. But 
So just warning you, you're not going to want to buy something. Or, or, like, just don't buy stuff you don't know what to do with. Well, sometimes I think I buy stuff and I'm like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? And then a few years later, I, fi I find out and it's my favorite thing. My sister started a goat herd. My dad bought her three. Now she has 18. And we got our little business. It's not super big. It's just like mom and it's like business for mom and dad. But it's cow kids. We've, we've got so much money. Like 1,500, something like that in the land of that. And you know, if you are going to have a farm, for those of you that are grown-ups, if you're going to have a farm, you're going to want kids. Definitely going to want kids. Dad, Dad and Mom have three, and that's almost not enough. So. But, you know, if you don't have kids, you're going to be doing a lot of work by yourself. I'm talking a lot of work. And if you're doing a lot of work, there's no time for, like, business work, stuff like that. So, just a pro tip, always have kids on a farm. And if you're not going to have kids, probably, you're probably only going to want to buy, like, a 10-acre farm. And you're probably not going to want less stock. That's already dead. We got to cut. That's part of the reason why I'm burning it is I want to clear this area out because we're. we're yeah, exactly. Don't do that, Mer Gage. Do not do it. It won't burn down. It won't burn. Okay. What about that pine tree? I don't really want to burn any of the pine trees, and I don't expect them to burn. But I, yeah, we're not we're not trying to burn the pine trees down. I mean, if they do, will you be mad? I won't be mad, oh, but man. if that hawk dies or if that vulture up there, if it dies by smoke, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's Daddy's fault because he like. Hey, away. look at that one. Pretty much burned out. Yeah. For now. There's a little flame over there. There's a little flame. That's probably less likely to have a flame. Yeah, just imagine it. Yeah. 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 This is smaller than I thought, but it's just frozen in the middle. Why do you think it's not burning? Have you seen brush like this on our farm burn much hotter in the past? Do you know, do you have any idea or guesses why? Maybe it's wet? Yeah, the, the moisture in the fuel, the, we call it fuel moisture, is probably a little higher. So it takes a hotter fire to kind of preheat the fuel and so like build up bigger, to a... Like if you get a bigger fire, it'll, if, get more, it'll knock down more stuff? Yeah, yeah, potentially. But it's burning, so... Would you say due to the rate of the fire, would you say today's a like a safer day to burn or a more dangerous day to burn? Safer. Exactly. Because things aren't kind of going crazy, right? Mm -hmm. You've seen them where they just rip right off the bat. In the summer, when that grows tall, I remember when I was like five, when I was like, like seven, eight years old, me and Gage and Dad, when we had a break on school. How old are you now? Here, nine. Yeah. Okay, just check. We'd come out here, and there'd be there'd be grass up to here on me, and we'd just burn it, and that's where I learned backfire. Oh yeah, and that's where you learned to back light a backfire, yeah. And then we um we had spray bottles, and we'd spray all day long. Also, we also 
stuff that just needs to do it across the street in the woods back there? Yeah, we'll probably burn that again. Well, I don't know if we'll burn that or not this year. We'll see. We should. But so this is a pretty tame burn, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We may have to slide another one down here. You want to go do that for me? I will. I will. I will. I will. You, you want to go around to the other side of it? Like the other side? Yeah. That's your back side. Hey, Merritt. Yeah, that's fine. Go for it, buddy. Can I go? Sure. All right, let's get another one off that point. Get a couple over there. Honestly, I didn't think this. I didn't think this would take this long. I thought it would burn off in about five minutes. It's taken much longer than I intended to spend. Excellent spot choice. I like where you're. All right, back out. Yeah, but this isn't what I intend to do for this day. I didn't intend to be in my cellar fixing sump pump. I tell you what, my feet not being wet, it just makes you appreciate the little things, man. 30 degree weather and wet feet in boots is uncool. Guess what? Sissy what? is going to get baptized in Maui. What? Yeah. Who's going to do it? Uh, I think Miranda Burcham. Who's that? Not Miranda Lambert. Oh. Miranda Burcham. Who's Miranda Burcham? She's an MVP in Arbonne with Mommy. Yeah. Our Mommy is Wendy Cunningham, National Vice President. Executive National Vice President, I should say. How cool is that, you guys? Do it? 3 p.m. Maui time. So that will be like 6 o'clock dinner time. Come on, man. Well, is it going to be like a party? Come on. Come on, goat. Is it going to be like a party? Goat, you are problematic. Dad, is it going to be like a party? It's always a party yeah. when somebody... Is it going to be like a party? Like a big old party? Like an LVMP. Yeah, when you... Hey, what are you doing? Found a box. Hey, Found why don't box? you carry these boxes? There's three of them uh, to the burn pit. It's always a party when somebody commits their life to Jesus. It's jalapeno, white cheddar, and deer, like, summer sausage. Deer, summer then, sausage, yeah. Uh, cracker. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness.